Hi new builders, my name is Chris and in this short video I'm going to create a drop down object in a form and link it to data from a different table. For more advanced help visit forums.newbuilder.com or check out our other videos in this series. So first of all I've already gone ahead and made another form using fast forms and called it invoice with a date object and a drop down object. We're going to link the drop down object with the employee underscore ID field from our first form we made called employees. So after we've saved that, we'll go into the object properties for the drop down we created. We're going to click on the drop down tab. We'll be able to input some SQL to link the employee and invoice tables. We're going to paste a code that, as you can see in the back end of the database here, it's going to grab the employee IDs and join the first and last names from the employee table. And it's going to put them into the drop down object of the invoices form. Once we readjust the height and width of the object to better fit, then we'll go and add a record. As you can see, the drop down works perfectly, we've got the names in there. One last thing to fix, in the forums column view, you'll notice here that the names are showing the IDs instead of the name. So to change that, we'll adjust the SQL in the forms properties, join the tables there, then to the Browse tab and clean up the title names and link the employee and display sort to EMP last name. So now if we go back into the form view, now we can see the last names are displayed instead of the code now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget you can go to forums.newbuilder.com for further help and tips.